everybody. With this project, we're going to be creating a drawing of a parrot, and our parrot is going to be very colorful. So you're going to be learning how to draw a parrot with this project, and then we're going to be coloring our parrot in with rainbow colors. The supplies you'll need for this project are a white piece of paper, something to draw with like a pencil, and something to color with. I'm going to be using colored pencils, but you could use crayons or markers if that's what you have available. Gather your supplies and we'll be ready to get started. Okay, I've gathered my supplies for my rainbow parrot. I've got a pencil to draw with, an eraser, um, a black marker to outline with. You can use a um, crayon or a black marker or a black colored pencil for this step. And I've got my colored pencils. Now the colors that you're gonna need are the rainbow colors. You can use crayons or markers instead. I also have an extra green, like a light green that I'm gonna use for the leaves and a brown that I'm going to use for the tree branch that my, um, parrot's going to be sitting on. Okay, so I'm going to start with my pencil and we're going to draw the parrot first. Now remember that if I ever go too fast you can always stop the video and get caught up or go back and watch things again. So first we're going to start with the beak of the parrot. So about right here my first step of what I'm going to do is draw a curved line like that. Then I'm going to come down to this point and I'm going to do a curved line back this direction. And I'll connect those with a curved line like that. That's the top of the beak. So now I'm ready to do the bottom of the beak. So I don't want to start right here at the point. I want to come down a little bit because the, the top of the beak comes down further. I'm going to go back right here and I'm going to draw a curved line that comes up. And notice they're not touching right there. I'll connect them with a curved line now. Okay, so that's our first step. That's our parrot's beak. So now we're going to draw the top of its head. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to make an upside down U line. Okay, that's the top of its head. Then we're going to draw the back all the way down to the tail. So this is going to be a really long line. I'm going to start here. It's kind of a curve a bit and it's going to come all the way down like that. So notice it kind of curved out. And curved in a little bit. Okay, so we're going to draw the wing next. So we're going to connect it. It's going to just start right here and it's going to, we're going to start right here and make a upside down U shape like that. And we're going to come down like that. Notice they're not connected and touching because what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the feathers on the end. So I'm going to do curve like that and then draw a line up. Notice my line doesn't come all the way to the top. Okay, so I'm going to start right here and this time I'm going to come down a little bit further like that and draw my line up. I'm going to do this two more times until I connect it up here. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to draw the front of the parrot's chest and belly. So I'm going to start right here at the bottom of the beak. I'm going to draw a curve that kind of comes out like that. And curve back around all the way to the wing here. Okay, so now I'm going to draw its leg and foot coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and I'm going to draw a line. It comes out like that. like that and then back up to the body so that's its leg so now we're going to do its claw so I'm going to start here and I'm going to draw a curved line like that come back you want it to be pointy because they've got pointy claws like that now this one's going to go the opposite direction like that like that and there's going to be a tree branch right here that it's sitting on now that's the leg that's on the other side, so we're going to draw the, we just are going to draw just the claw for this side. We don't really need to draw it because it's going to, it's kind of sitting on its um, leg. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to do a curve line like that. Back. Another one that comes this way. And back like that. And the one that comes here, like that. Now if yours ends up um, getting covered up more than mine is, that's totally fine. Everybody's will be a little bit different and that's okay. 
All right, so we've got our, um, we're going to do the wing on the other side of the tree branch, but we're going to do that after we draw the tree branch out. So we're going to draw um, some details for the face. So I'm going to start with the eye. I'm going to do a circle about right here. And then another circle. This one's going to actually be like touching. It's not right in the middle. It's touching that circle. And I'm just going to leave those right now because I'm going to color them in with my marker later. And then we're going to start right here and we're going to do a curved line around the eye. Notice it's not touching the eye. It goes around it. Comes down like that. And connects here. That's just some detail on our parrot's face. And then we're just going to draw a couple of lines on here like this. Okay, we're going to draw the tree branch next. So our um, our parrot is sitting on a tree branch. So I'm going to start my tree branch right here. And it doesn't have to be perfect and exact because tree branches don't grow perfectly and exact. So there's my first tree branch. I'm going to draw another line here to this side. And I'm going to bring my tree branch all the way here. Uh, I have to pick my pencil up and come over here a little bit. Alright, so now I need to draw the top. So I'm, I'm not going to draw through here because I'd be drawing through the leg, but I need to draw a little bit right there. Pick it up and bring it over here. So there's my tree branch that my bird is sitting on. So I'm going to draw um, some the feathers on, on the other side of the tree branch. So the way that I'm going to do this, it's going to look like the, the tail's kind of hanging back down. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to draw really similar to what we did with the um, wing up here. I'm going to draw these kind of these shapes that go like, or these lines that go like this. And then one more up like that. And it looks like it's on the, it's going to look like it's on the other side of the tree branch when we're done. So we're finished drawing our parrot. So we're going to add some leaves in and you can add these any way that you would like in your background. You can add smaller branches coming off of your big branch or you can just add some leaves around. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start adding leaves and they're going to be kind of big like that. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to also draw the veins on them. Now your leaves can look like mine or they can look different. They can be in different places. They can be in similar places in mine. You can make some that are kind of like longer and skinnier like this. That's okay. Or you can keep yours. You can even do some overlapping like this. That's your decision. So I've got some leaves drawn in. You can do yours in the same place as I've done mine, or you can do yours differently. That's up to you. So my next step is that I'm going to trace each of my pencil lines with my black marker. You can choose to do this. You could use a crayon or a black colored pencil, um, or you could just leave yours as regular pencil if you would like. Now I have some places where I've got pencil line showing so I'm going to go back and take my eraser and clean those up. Okay, I've got my pencil lines that are showing erased and now I'm ready to start coloring. So we're going to make our parrot be rainbow. So we're going to start at the top and work, its, work our way down. We're going to start with red and then we're going to finish up with purple at the very tail down here. So um, I'm going to choose my red. And remember you can be using markers or colored pencils or crayons, whatever works best for you. I'm using colored pencils. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to color until about right here. So I'm going to start over here and I'm going to color in the top of the parrot's head with the red and I'm going to come and I'm going to go ahead and where I'm going to stop. I'm going to tell myself now we're not measuring. We're not making it exact on each color gets an exact amount. We're just going to do close enough. I'm going to go down a little bit more. There we go. 
So about to the bottom of where the, that part right there is. And I'm just leaving that blank for right now. We'll color that in later. So the next color in our rainbow is orange. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlap and kind of blend these colors together right here. And then I'll continue with my orange. And I am going to go on the wing too. Now my next color in the rainbow is yellow. So I get my yellow. And again, I'm gonna blend and kind of overlap the two colors. Okay, my next color in the rainbow is green. So I'm gonna use my green next. Overlap the colors. And you can really see it well on the green. That's where the, the colors blend together. I kind of get like a lighter yellowy green, which is perfect. Next is blue. Let me get out my blue. Make sure I'm blending them together. And my last color is purple. Okay, now on the tail, I'm going to just kind of get the bottom of it. So I'm going to do some blue here and then some purple. So I need to color in my um, parrot's leg. So since it's coming out for where the blue part is, I'm going to just use my blue and color the leg in blue. Okay, so now I'm ready to color in the rest of the details on my parrot. So I'm going to go ahead and color in the claws and the beak. I'm going to use orange for these. You could use yellow. Um, whatever you have on hand will work. I think I'm actually going to do yellow because I've got some orange right here. So I'm, I'm going to use yellow for the beak. Okay, now for this section right here, you can choose. You get to pick whatever color you want to color that part in is fine on yours. I think I'm going to do mine. Um, I'm going to actually choose a totally different color that I haven't used yet. That's not part of my rainbow. I think I'm going to pick like a pink color maybe. Now I'm ready to color in the background. So I'm going to color the tree branch brown. I'm going to color the space around the leaves with a blue color. And then I'm going to color the leaves green. Now you can just choose one green. You can use multiple different greens on your leaves. That's totally up to you. Um, it is your choice. Or you could do a different color in the background. Maybe you want to pick a different color for your background. That's okay. You can do that. So I'm going to get started coloring in the rest of my picture. Okay, I finished coloring in my parrot. I started at the top and worked my way down making a rainbow with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And I colored in the rest of the background. I hope you all had a lot of fun creating this artwork and I can't wait to see everybody's creations. Bye.